What's going on, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Junkyard Breaks. Uh, today is another mail call, uh, comic book store, local pickup, whatever. <laughs> it's just the stuff that I got um, one of these weeks. Uh, I said in the last two videos, I had like seven seven plastic bags filled with comics that I bought that week that I have yet to go through. I just kind of stuff everything in a plastic bag and it ends up on the floor somewhere over here. So um, this is just what I got. So this is, I got these um, the Saturday before Black Friday. So that, that I know because of what's in here. Um, but these books I got the Saturday before Black Friday in uh, November. <laughs> so let's get started. This is the stuff that I picked up. Uh, my local comic book store every Saturday before Black Friday, um, I actually work the store. Um, all of the wall books, all of the back issue books are half off, half off marked, and uh, it's usually a day that I get some good stuff. This year kind of stunk. I missed, um, I missed the Star Wars one. I, you know, I, I, because I get there early, I want to let the customers get whatever they want first and then if there's stuff at the end of the day I'll, I'll pick up some books um, the star a good good collection of Star Wars came in and one through five sold immediately so you know it happens whatever um, but that's fine but I still got I got some decent stuff so this is what I got so we starting with the, the newish stuff that was in my mailbox so Star Wars High Republic Adventures um, this is a number four uh, Star Wars High Republic Adventures uh, number 10 so that is uh, number 4 from the monster of Temple Peak so uh, this is 10 of the uh, the main um, we'll get to that one Batgirl number 50 um, new 52 number 35 I love this Batgirl costume I have the statue of this in my office I I, I love it the motorcycle get up for Batgirl is, is pretty badass I, I love it um, yeah this is like another Another look at it, Batgirl number 47, but I love this costume. Don't know why. It's cool. So I did get first Val Zod, so 150 half off. Um, I got this for $75. Bucks. Um, this is going to be a big book when Michael B. Jordan's movie comes out. So I got that, and I got his first in costume. This was $12, so 6 bucks for this. Um, back to uh, mail, Mailbox, Primordial number 3. Uh, he Who Fights with Monsters, number three. Deep Beyond, number ten. I think I'm the, still the last person subscribed to this. I don't know why I'm still on it. Campisi, number three. Uh, the Variant Edition. I love this thing book. Nice Doom, Doom face mask. Really cool cover. Who did this? It looks like Grissetti, but it's not Grissetti. Um, this is, this is the variant, so this is, uh, Lee Ber Bermejo, I think this is the one who did this, looks like it, cool cover, uh, Venom 1, this is the Peach Momoko variant, which I, I liked, I should get a copy of the other one, so back to the back issues, I got, so this is First Nebula, I got this for 25 bucks, which I thought was a good deal, it's in decent shape. Um, Mid uh, Midnight Suns Ghost Rider number twenty eight. Uh, this was twenty five, so fifty half off. Another good deal. Oh, God Killers Spiderland number one from Black Mask Comics. Great cover. That is a sick cover. And then to this, this is uh, Avengers number twenty nine. This is really nice shape for a black cover. This is beautiful cover. Um, so this was a hundred bucks. Uh, I will get this graded. It is really nice. It does have some Marvel chipping, but very, very little. Uh, I got this Ghost Rider number one. This was thirty bucks. Um, f some free comic book day books were still there. This is the first appearance of um, what's his name Venom, right? Nice art germ. Batgirl thirty one. Great cover. Batgirl 26, that is a Sean Gordon Murphy cover. Uh, the uh, do Oni Double Feature, number 12, featuring Kevin Smith, Jay and Silent Bob, or Blunt Man and Chronic. I don't think I've ever had too many Blunt Man and Comic Chronic books. 
uh, Batgirl number 25. Basically, I, anything that had her motorcycle outfit on, I, I grabbed it. I just love them. Uh, Maneaters number one. Cool glitter cover. Uh, Naomi number one. I don't know how much I paid for this. This is the variant cover, though. This is the, the, the B. Don't have the A. Um, but this is a hot book. I don't know about this one, but the, the A is a hot book. And I got number two. So that's it. That's it for this one. Um, and now it's time for my pick of the week. Uh, my pick of the week this week, I'm going to stick with uh, Planet Hulk. I'm going to go with Incredible Hulk number 92. That's the first Planet Hulk. Um, Raws go for like 50 bucks. Another one, 9 eighths go for like 200 um, but it's the first time um, Planet Hulk was mentioned. It's not like a main character or anything. It's more of a, a place. But um, if they do Planet Hulk, World War Hulk, um, that, that definitely will pop a little bit. So um, uh, just because I know they want to start doing some solo stuff with Hulk, uh, I don't know how long Mark Ruffalo is going to be around. But if they do, so like I said in another video, if they go with Young Avengers, they're going Hulkling. If they go World War Hulk, they're going to go Scar. Um, I don't know which way they're going to go with the next the next version of Hulk, but it's one of those two ways, or both. Maybe they do both. Um, but, um, yeah, that's a good one to spec on, just because um, it is the first time they do Planet Hulk, and that is, if you haven't seen it, they, they did an animated movie on it. Um, I would recommend reading it. It is a good read. Planet Hulk and World War Hulk. Um, really good reads. And um, that's it. So that's it for uh, this week's video. Like and subscribe. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys are thinking. Let me know what you guys are specking on. That would be really cool. And uh, good luck out there. I'll see you next time.